Remember when they promised us transparency over at the White House and accessibility, that was a big one? Things were going to go back to normal. The press would be treated with respect and legitimate questions answered. Public has a right to know, after all, it wouldn't be dismissed. Well, when the White House press secretary appeared on a radio show to sell the president's deeply unpopular agenda, she must have expected, I don't know, a standing ovation, flowers, a fruit basket. But when things got a little tough, she forgot the old adage that when you can't, you can't win the game if you walk off the field. I told a number of people that I was talking to you today, they all said, would you please just ask her? Does the president have dementia? Mark, I can't even believe you're asking me this question. It is uh, incredibly insulting. And uh, and so we can, you know, we can move on to the next question. Gas prices and grocery prices then. How does uh, Mr. Biden win votes when people don't have as much disposable income? Look, the president understands. Uh, he grew up in, in a middle-class family, a working-class family in Scranton, Pennsylvania. He gets it. Those costs have gone down because of what this president has been able to do. And with that, thank you so much, Mark. Have an amazing, amazing day. And she hung up. Oh, I remember some of those. I remember some of those days in radio. <laughs> Joining me now exclusively is the man you just heard, Mark Garrison, host of WBT News Talk Radio in Charlotte, North Carolina. All right, Mark, what yep. happened here? I mean, you had the nerve to ask the question that millions and millions of Americans would like answered forthrightly. Well, yeah, they, uh, Corinne had reached out to us and asked her, us if we would do an interview because uh, Biden was coming to North Carolina. So we said, sure. And I knew, as you know, doing interviews through the years, you're going to get a lot of talking points. So I thought if I could just ask a couple of questions, maybe we'd make a little news, maybe get a soundbite out of her. So I just decided to ask her about uh, all the concern. Here in North Carolina, even 45 percent of Democrats are concerned about Biden's mental state. So I thought, OK, I brought that up to her. She somewhat dismissed that. And then I just said, OK, well, does he have dementia? And I was surprised that she was so offended. Well, why didn't she just answer the question? I mean, uh, uh, presumably exactly. they have, you know, the best doctor. I mean, just answer the question. No, he doesn't have dementia. What's the next question? I don't, I don't get that. Well, why is that a hard question? Well, I, that's what everybody that has contacted me said. Why didn't she say yes or no or go into some sort of defense of her boss and his mental faculties? But in fact, what she did, Laura, was take us down a bumpy dirt road because she went on to say, well, mm -hmm. every year the White House physician examines the president and puts out a detailed report. Well, I went back and looked at all of those detailed reports. It talks about his heartburn. It talks about his limp. It talks about his heart. It talks about his stomach. But there's nothing in those reports about uh, his mental, mental acuity. capacity. Yeah. yeah. All right, Mark, um, the White House released a statement. They said that um, uh, the press secretary had multiple back-to-back -back interviews with radio stations who were each offered seven minutes. Once that time was up, she called into the next one. They alleged that your station chose not to air the full interview and instead artificially attached a sound effect that our phones do not make when the calls end. Did you add a hang up sound effect? No. And to 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 quote Corinne, I'm, I'm offended that she would suggest that <laughs> now, we don't add sound effects to news stories. When she hit the button to disconnect, we got a dial tone. We didn't add any drama to it. And did as you far air as the whole the, interview, uh, though, we did. Did, did you edit, we, uh, did you aired, edit the uh, interview? Uh, we aired the unedited video on one of our talk shows, and then we took some sound bites in our newscasts. So, so, it, so the entire are, interview was available. So they're, I yes. see what they're saying, but their claims are spurious because you did put the entire, you know, all of the interview, the entire, all of the content online. People could see it, but for Not your newscast, obviously online, you want shorter sound Online bites. and on the air. Yeah, that's exactly right. It was very clear when she hung up what? that she was not happy. I just love, have an amazing day. The... <laughs> The saccharine would, sweetness, but yeah, but Mark, I remember these days. I miss these days. Those were those were really fun moments, actually. 
And Mark, I might say you have a wonderful voice for radio. I have such well, respect for radio hosts across this country. You do a fantastic job. And um, thank you so much for joining us. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.